Hey guys, it's me, Silly Piggy, and I'm here with the long-awaited video about the August surprise. I told you back in July that there's going to be a huge surprise in August. In this video, you are going to find out what the surprises are. As you could probably tell, I'm in the purple room, which is where the guinea pigs and chillas used to live in. But now, it's become my ferret room, and... My camera's out of focus, which totally ruins the element of surprise. I adopted two ferrets today. I was going to hold off and make this video tomorrow once they um, kind of were here for a day and stuff. But I know it really wasn't fair of me to keep you guys waiting. And besides, the ferrets wanted to come out for playtime. And so I was like, why not just do a video when they come out? So they were out already for like 10 minutes when my neighbor, he came over because he wanted to see them. So they were out for a little while, but this is their cage. We literally got home like 30 minutes ago. I did vlog it, so look forward to that video. It'll probably be be coming, um, being uploaded right after this one. I'm sure this is kind of a big shock to you guys because I don't think um, most of you know, but I've been wanting to adopt two ferrets for about two years now. I'm gonna let them out of their cage and then I'll tell you more. And just sit here and let them out. Hey, come here, sweetie. You wanna come outside? Come on. Okay. There you go, sweetie. Okay, I'll just get them because I don't think he knows that it's time for playtime. You see his tail. So I'm gonna sit down and then just tell you the story, their story. So about two years ago, I fell in love with ferrets. Um, I had heard about them a lot, um, people talked about them a lot and stuff, but I had never really, I never met a ferret, I had never touched, held, or anything to a ferret. like. I really didn't know anything about them. Last year, last summer, I was like, I want to adopt two ferrets. But I think deep down inside, I knew that I really wasn't ready for ferrets. My mom knew that, so she was like, right now, uh, we can't and stuff. And I was pretty upset, but I mean, I, th I knew like where she was coming from and I knew that she was right. And I was like, Okay, I'll just have to wait till a point in my life where I'm ready for ferrets. So, this year, like, this whole school year, I had been doing even more research. I read Ferrets for Dummies, the second edition. I did a ton of research, watched videos, and I kind of knew that I was ready for ferrets. So, the whole school year, I had been talking about ferrets and telling my mom all about them. My mom really didn't want ferrets, but I won't really talk about how I convinced her because that'll be a really long video. But um, at, towards the middle of the summer in July, I think it was July. No, it was June. Yeah, at the, towards the middle of June, my mom said that I could adopt two ferrets. But the thing was, I had a camp I was going to at the beginning or at the end of July to, or, to the beginning of August. So it wouldn't be fair of me to adopt two ferrets and then leave them like and have a sitter watch them or something because I wanted to be with them and get them used to our house and stuff. So we agreed that I'll get them when I got back from camp, which was August 2nd I got home. So I had been looking at ferrets even before camp and everything. June-ish, July-ish, I moved the guinea pigs and chillas out of this room and I uh, vacuumed in here. I cleaned the carpets. I vacuumed again. I dusted. I made sure everything was nice and new and clean. I saved up all, all the money for the ferrets. Every single thing in this room and the ferrets I paid for. I had saved up enough money that I could um, 
support the ferrets, which is what I wanted to do. My mom offered to pay, but I wanted to do it. When I got back from camp, I had checked a couple websites. Like I checked Craigslist, I checked uh, Kijiji, and I checked local shelters around me. Um, but a couple days ago, on August 4th, I came across two ferrets on Craigslist, and I was like, I got that feeling. I was like, um, I can insert the picture right here. So this is the ad that I saw on Craigslist when I got the feeling, and I was like, okay, yeah, this is right. This feels right. Everything feels right. So I contacted the lady. She wanted to sell us, like, the cage and all the supplies, and that was $175. I already had everything, so I was like, can we just adopt the ferrets? And she really didn't want to separate the supplies and the ferrets. I was fine with that. I had enough money, but my mom, she really didn't want to do that. So I asked her if we could just take the ferrets for $100. I felt bad about, like, bargaining with her over, like, living creatures. And she was like, no. So I was really upset because I had, there was something about these guys that felt right. So then the next day, I was really upset and I was like talking to my mom and I was like, please, 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 can't we adopt them? And I was like, I have all the money and everything. And she said it wasn't about the money. It was just about all that stuff. So, um, so then I was like, my mom was starting to kind of see that I really knew these were the ones. Um, and so she was like, okay, just ask them, her about the, their health and stuff. So I did, and I asked her if she could give us their health record and stuff. And at, when she replied to that email, she was like, um, you know, I lost my job. You can just adopt the ferrets and the supplies for $100. And so honestly, I was so happy. We didn't get their cage, which was nice, because we didn't really want to have to haul that and stuff. So today at 9 o'clock, well, 8, 40, 50 ish we left, she lives two hours away, which was a four hour round trip, and we picked them up. Their original names is, her name's Lily and he's Buster, but I um, am changing their names. I'll tell you that in just a second, um, but I forgot to tell you. So before um, the lady I got them from off of Craigslist, before she got them, she got them off of Craigslist from another lady who got them, I think, from Petland, and I think they're both Mar Marshall Ferret it's because they have that tattoo on their ear, but I think uh, the first lady got them from Petland, and then the lady I adopted them from got them from the lady who got them from Petland off of Craigslist. Okay, that's really confusing. I changed their names, so both of their names are kind of in honor of my dog, Raven, who passed away earlier this year. Um, I don't know if you guys remember Raven, uh, she had cancer and became a three-legged dog, uh, before she passed away, but she loved one of my stuffed ferrets, um, named Aurora, it was by the, the stuffed animal making brand Aurora, and so I was like, when I get my first female ferret, her name is going to be Aurora, so immediately I knew that she was an Aurora. Do you guys know the Ravens, the um, Baltimore Ravens football team. And I don't know if you guys know Jacoby Jones. He's on their team. Um, Kobe is named after him. I didn't really want to name him Jacoby or Jacob, so I sided with Kobe. And the reason I named him after him is because they won the Super Bowl this year. Um, so I don't know, I thought that was cool because Raven's name was Raven and then the Ravens won. So, yeah, they're both kind of named in honor of my dog, Raven. But, yeah, so this is them. She's about one year old, and he's about two years old. We already scheduled a vet appointment for them on Friday. So I can do a video for you on them then and update you guys. And I love them so much. Come here. When I go to the vet, I'm going to ask them about, like, ferret diet and stuff. Like, um, the natural raw diet, raw meat diet versus kibble diet and stuff. Because I've read a lot about that and I'm still kind of, I don't know. And I really trust my vet, so I kind of want to know what he has to say about it. 
Um, but yeah, so currently they are on a Walmart ferret food, which really is not that good, but it's the only thing she could afford. So when I, I'm going to be getting them a different ferret food, like um, a Y Song ferret food. And, but I'm going to know more about that once I talk to my vet and we can decide together like what I want to do as far as ferret diet goes. Um, but yeah, they will not be staying on the ferret, the Walmart ferret food. Look at how creepy. Oh, she just went into the tic-tac-toe blanket. That's so cute. <laughs> Is this her? This is her. But yeah, in the car ride home, I was just like holding them in the back seat. We brought a carrier with us, but I would take them out individually and just like hold them because, yeah, it was kind of a long car ride, but hey, Kobe. Come here, Kobe. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, sweetie. I'm pretty sure she's a champagne colored ferret and he's a sable, I think. I'm not really good with the ferret colors, but I really love her coloring. They're both really, really pretty though. But yeah, we're going to the vet on Friday to get their vaccines and checkups and stuff. So now I'm just going to do a ferret room tour. First right here, I have, I think it's called like the North States Pet Gate or something. But it's like got this kind of plastic material here so they can't get through. It's pretty sturdy. It's a baby gate pretty much. And then here I have carpet runner that I cut. Um, oh, update on the puppies. I don't know if you guys remember the puppies we were fostering. They um, all of them but one got adopted. He'll be getting adopted anytime uh, now. But everyone, all the other puppies are doing great in their new homes. So, yeah. Um, here they have a tunnel. They have their octopus little thing, which is so cute. They have a litter box with carpet runner here. I use wood stove pellets, um, if you're wondering, for litter. There is their food container. They have wild Alaskan salmon oil their cage, a huge carpet runner thing just that goes here, tic-tac-toe blanket and some toys, another litter box with carpet runner, and then here they have a big wood stove pellet bin. Um, this is two bags of wood stove pellets, so this is about 80 pounds of wood stove pellets. Here is the um, carrier we brought them with. Uh, we got this from the people we adopted them from. Um, we got a few supplies and stuff from their old owner, but I already threw that away. You'll see that in my vlog video. I just have my computer, a rag thing. And then here's the bed bug play center, which they already were in, you guys saw. And then here's play pit balls, they're so cute. It's just this dog pool. And then I sanitize it and everything and put play pit balls in here. This is 100 play pit balls. I bought them off of Amazon for $100. Or no, oh my gosh, no. I bought 100 balls for $20. Where'd Aurora go? Huh? <laughs> hey, sweetie. So cute. Hey, Aurora. I don't know. Let me pick her up. Hey, sweetie. Sweetheart. Hi. Um, but yeah, and I still have to get a plastic bin to, uh, to put rice, long grain rice in it so they can have a dig box. Don't worry, keeping the ferrets away from the small, from the other small animals. Don't worry about that at all. Okay, now I guess I'll give you a quick overview over the ferret's cage. So it's the Ferret Nation 182. I made an order off of a ferret website um, that makes homemade ferret bedding and stuff. But, oh my gosh, no, don't do that, sweetie. This thing has those grippers. I don't want her to hurt herself. Stop it. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Um, but it hasn't come yet. It's been shipped, but it just hasn't come yet. So first they have this turtle thing, and they have this liner for now. It's just a pillowcase, actually. My old pillowcase, but it fits over here. They have their elephant, which has crinkly ears, and a uh, cut in the butt. It also has a heart on the other butt. See? And then I have some fleece here. I have the monkey hammock, pocket hammock, here. Ramp, the hole there to go down. This is their bottom part. It's really messy because they were digging. Um, they have a ramp here, a hammock, 
which was in their carrier, but I moved in here. This was free because I had spent over a certain amount of money on a ferret website, so they gave it to me for free. Another pillowcase. They have their litter pan right here. It's the high back litter pan with their wood stove pellets. They have this uh, fleece right here. Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> they have water bowl. They have their food in here. I need a refill. This pirate ship. So that's pretty much their key. Oh my gosh. You guys are crazy. Don't do that. You guys are going to hurt yourselves. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. There we go. I have to rescue her. Because she's crazy. Those are my two new ferrets, Aurora and Kobe. So they will see you all very soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. I will see you guys all later. Bye.